Chair, uh, last week where the, the committee made some amendments on the DPMA report. Yes. Uh, there were no uh, amendment made on the, on the um, observation and findings. But however, then the amendment was made on point 13 on, on the recommendations of which is 13.3. I can see the deputy minister. Welcome, deputy minister. Sorry, Julius. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Webb. Can I just check with members, man, through you, Chair, if members can see uh, 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 the report, the projecting, the projected, projected report? Earlier on, I saw it, but I don't see it now. No, I can't see it either. It's no longer there. It was there before. Yes, it was there, but now it's not there. Yeah, it's not there now, Ms. Paul. There we are. Now it's on. Yeah, yeah, there it is now. Okay. Thank you, Mr. God. Uh, can I continue, Chair? Yes, you can continue, Mr. Webb. All right. Uh, the uh, the amendment was made on in, on the recommendations from the observation. There were no uh, uh, amendment on the observation and findings, but then there was. However, there was only one, uh, in fact, two, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the amendments that were made on the recommendations uh, of the report on the DPME. Of which then we, uh, the sentence has been recrafted. If you still remember, we've put, I think, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, we're specific in terms of which position should the minister fill. But then the meeting felt that we should review that and then highlight that the department should fill all critical funded positions at the senior management. Uh, 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 it should be senior management level to ensure stability, service delivery, and good governance. Okay. So. Uh, members okay with that? Greetings to the honoured members. Greetings to everybody. Uh, chair. Yes, Chair, we, we are fine. Thank you. I am fine from where I'm seated. Thank you so much. It seems fine on my side. Fine, Chair. Fine, Chair. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's unanimity there. We Okay. We and the second yeah. one, the second one, Chair and Honorable Members, was on 13.4. Uh, in fact, the emphasis was just for us to put a time frame of which uh, we have put uh, the time frame, but I'll just read the sentence. The department should compile a comprehensive report on the locked cases for the presidential hotline during the course of the pandemic and lockdown and table it in, in parliament by September 2020. Are members okay with that? We are okay, Chair. Uh, Honorable Kibi is okay. Any second to Kibi? Maluleke second. Okay, Honorable Maluleke second that. Can we move on now to to start SA. No, before that, uh, Chair, there was uh, for the brand SA, uh, the issue of domestic trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's uh, 13.9. 13.9. Yeah, 13.9. Okay. We have uh, included that and then uh, the, the, the recommendation rate as follows. Brand South Africa should continue to market the national brand to the international and domestic investors okay. for the promotion of the domestic domestic trade in order to attract investment in the country. And brand SA should be proactive in protecting the country's reputation through marketing the national brand by promoting positive publicity about South African brands. That's all. 
Is there any dissenting view? Good morning, Mr. Administrator, are you there? Yes, I am. No yes. dissenting view. Can we move to the next one? Good morning, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, uh, Chair, uh, I think that that's the end with, with the DPMA and Brand SA report. That's the end of uh, those, those are only recommend, I mean, amendments that were made to the report. So now, uh, uh, okay, okay, I've noted you, Honorable Soma. Um, Thank you, Chair. If I may, my apology is to say, uh, with the confirmation that you did include on the conclusion in terms of uh, acknowledging the contribution made by the former DG. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay, yes, uh, Honorable Soma. Yeah, uh, if you look at the, the last. Uh, I will just highlight it. Uh, if you look at the last sentence, we have uh, incorporated that, and then we said the committee wished, well, the former director general of the Department of Planning, Monitoring, and Evaluation, Ms. Mbumimpov, in her future after serving the department with distinction during her term. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you. Take us to the next item. Okay, Chair. Yes. The, the next report to be status SA. That's SA, yes. Again, Chair and Honourable Members, on Status A, we, we received the amendment on uh, 9.4. Yes. It reads as follows, uh, State SA should jury census ensure the process of data collection is as inclusive as possible, particularly with regard to the connectivity in the remote rural areas. ICT should not be a hindrance for collecting data since well computer system personal interview will be used throughout the census. Chair, if I may, I think it sounds like it captured both the points I and Honorable Malazi raised, and I am comfortable with that. Okay, Honorable Soma. Any seconder to Honorable Soma? Chair, uh, as Honorable as Malazi. The person who proposed the amendment, I, 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 I second it, Chair. They captured it accurately as we intended it to be expressed. Thank you. Good morning, Honorable Malati. You were not in before, but I hear now you are in. Oh, I hear morning, and recognize mo morning, your voice. Chair. My, <laughs> morning. my apologies. Morning, Chair. Morning, colleagues. I thought I thought it, it reflected that I was in. My, my apologies for, for not greeting, Chair. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Can, can we move to the next item? The next, uh, the next amendment was uh, made on. Okay, we, we, we. It has been deleted. Uh, if uh, honourable uh, members they still recall about the statistical council, I think that was the yeah. the, the suggestion by honourable Soma uh, that we, we they let's let's do away with uh, the statistics. Anyway, they normally uh, they inform uh, members of the public. Uh, whenever they, there's anything that uh, needs to communicate uh, around statistics. So it has been deleted. Yeah. But but when you check 9.9 uh, .9, uh, chairperson and honorable members, uh, we have re-emphasized that uh, uh, again the issue of 
connectivity uh, 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 says it should in collaboration with other stakeholders devise a long term uh, long term connectivity strategy to link up with deep rural areas through technology in order to harvest information and, uh, vital to planning That's so on, on yeah on stairs on stairs chair and honorable members that that's all uh, uh, the amendments that we have made on the report can the members adopt that chair if i may uh, just to uh, honorable check with, Kami. thank you chair just to check with uh, mr Wabe, the you remember where we just uh, tweeted a little bit in terms of the feeling of vacancies of the SMS in particular. Did you mm. tweak that one? Because you remember that. Oh, yeah. Was it Stats SA or I'm confusing? No, 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 it's not Stats no. SA. No, it's fine. I'm confusing. It's fine. No, if it you, was if you uh, My apology. My apology. Okay. Okay, Honorable Soma and Honorable Members. If you check 9.5, yeah, I still remember you. 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 You sort of. We are arguing based on why should we then have to cite the amount on the, on the on that particular rec recommendation rather than keeping the spirit of consistency with other report. But then, but then the meeting felt that uh, well, let's re-emphasize uh, the amount that has been allocated, uh, take into consideration the historical. Uh, a budget shortfall of states because uh, we have, as a committee, we have been also uh, uh, battling to convince uh, with the treasury because of number of uh, letters that were written to the national treasury as well as to the minister of planning and monitoring evaluation to intervene. So now we got this, um, the, the states a got this particular amount, and we know that we the, the country currently is facing the the. the uh, um, um, I mean, the, the financial, it just got financial constraints. So, if we don't re emphasize this particular amount uh, that has been allocated to states, especially to uh, on the compensation of employees, we, we might, we might, they might again, uh, the, the national treasurer might again be tempted to tap into this uh, allocation. So we thought that let's just put it as it is because of it has been allocated. It's unlike if then it was not allocated, but it has been allocated for this financial year. So that was the essence of, of this particular uh, uh, recommendations uh, as compared to other recommendations. Chairperson, if I may, my hand was up. Is oh, that, uh, is that Honorable Lulu, Malulek? It's the so much in my hand. Okay. If I may, Chair, no, I think, uh, so? thank you, Chair. Uh, 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 Mr. Julius is responding correctly, but to the wrong point that I made, the which I was with, uh, withdrawn. Because what is making is quite important that they must be aware if they don't fill those vacancies, the Treasury might take that money back. So it's critical to retain that point. But I was making confusing with DPME in terms of the appointment of the DG in the in DPME. So I did withdraw my, my comment. Nevertheless, on the rationale of this point, it's totally very critical that we also state the amount. All right. Is okay, Chair, I now. think from, yeah, from my side, uh, from my side, with regard to status A, uh, that's the end of uh, 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 the presentation on the uh, status A report. Uh, Mr. Biela will then take uh, the PSC uh, up until the PSA. Why don't we adopt that before? Oh, yes. Yes. Can 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 members adopt the report now? Honorable Chair, I move for the adoption of this report. Honorable Kibi, move for adoption. Any second to Honorable Kibi? Honorable Tabekulu seconds, Chair. Honorable Tabekulu has seconded. Is there a dissenting voice? Of and not necessarily. 
uh, let, let me just double check, Chair. In terms of the other ones, did we also adopt them? What did we do? Because we're looking at clauses. I don't recall also formally raising for the adoption. I'm just double checking. I might have missed that. Just for, for, for to be clinical in terms of our processes as well. Thank you. I, I suggested so, so that we don't go back. Or am I confusing things? Uh, I think, Honorable Chair, Honorable Isoma is, is right. We did not adopt the others. We just agreed okay. on certain points. Yes. Okay. So you you mean now let's 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 maintain that way and come back for adoption later. I, I, I'm suggesting, Chair, since we have adopted ads, that is a Let's then get to the, the, the first two that we have already agreed in terms of the amendment and formalize them and dispose with them. Then we come to whatever is outstanding. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. just to come in, Chair, it's much more uh, through you, Chair. Okay. Yes, yes. It, it is true. Status uh, uh, say now has been adopted. Uh, now, if we can move to a uh, monitoring, uh, planning monitoring evaluation for adoption, then we can allow uh, 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 Mr. Biela to do the other three reports, and then after we'll then adopt the three as well. Yes. Uh, okay. Chair, thank, thanks, sir. So we can just okay. have a. Uh, you, you are breaking up, Master. Yes, so I was just saying that uh, if you can just allow members to 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 move for adoption for a uh, planning monitoring and evaluation report chair. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Chair, if can I we, uh, Honorable Soma, come in. Okay. No. 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 Call it first so that I can respond to what you would have said. Better. Oh. That, let's let's. Uh, we, we we are presenting uh, DPME for for adoption, honourable members. Honourable chair, if I may, uh, I move for honourable the Soma, of yes. DPME. I move for the adoption of the of the vote D DPME as presented and amended, chair. Thank you. Thank you. Any second to honourable Soma? Honorable Chair, I second the proposal of Honorable Isoma. Yes, Honorable Kibi has uh, seconded. Any dissenting view? No dissent. The, 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 the budget report is adopted. Can we move to the next item? Which is... Uh, Public Service Commission. Um, thank you, Chair. Yeah. Um, good morning, honorable members and colleagues. Um, <clears throat> we are on now the PSC budget vote 12 uh, for 2021. Um, <clears throat> We come to item six or paragraph six. It says uh, the committee took note of the PSC's caution on mushrooming of other hotlines within the public and the private sector, which has the potential to render the public sector national anti-corruption hotline ineffective. The function to report and, and investigate on corruption. Uh, uh, dam, dam uh, yeah, uh, to chair, to your, chair. Your, your your mic is breaking up uh. <coughs> and it's also not showing on the screen honorable chair yes sir. that's what i wanted oh. to highlight to uh, tamlu that if he can project uh, but if he's struggling we can uh, ask uh, nicely who, who mr Nguyepe to assist us in, in, in that report. okay can you project that uh oh, there. mr B. Is it up? Yes, is it yes thank you very much thank you very much Okay, cool. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Um, yeah, we are on paragraph 6.6. .6. The committee took note of the PSC's caution 
on mushrooming of other hotlines within the public and private sector, which has the potential to render the public sector national anti-corruption hotline ineffective. The function to report and investigate on corruption resides with the PSC. Therefore, the committee felt that the central hotline should be under the auspices of the PSC. Too many hotlines are a duplication of services and multiplied costs to government when there is a need to save to grow the economy. That is 6.6. Oh, the amendments were made there. Okay. Yes, Chair. All right. Um, are members happy with those amendments? <coughs> Yes, Chair, I am. Um, we are happy, Honorable Chair. Is an Honorable Kibi. Okay, thank you. Therefore, Let's you. Yes. Was that the only area that uh, was amended? Uh, uh, the one is up now, Chair, the other one. Oh, the other one is up, okay. Yes, yes. 6.8. All right. Yeah. As a result of audit outcomes of 2018-19 financial year, the committee cautioned the PSC to address matters of emphasis the Auditor General identified, resulting to qualified audit, among which was the deviation on the procurement of the information technology related matters, resulting in most unvariable, unfavorable audit outcomes. For the PSC to fail in these matters undermines good governance, which it must uphold and of which it has it is a custodian. I'm done, Chair. Uh, 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 uh. You are done. Honorable Soma, I can hear your voice. I think that point is it, it, it captures what we are raised, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Members. Um, let's come to seven recommendations. Okay. The Portfolio Committee recommends that the Public Service Commission undertakes the following activities. Uh, 7.1. In light of COVID-19, the Commission should approach government to, to reconsider its position and list the Public Sector National Anti-Corruption Hotline as an essential service. During this period of expediency, citizens have to be encouraged to report allegations of corruption through the National Anti-Corruption Hotline. The committee noted that government had subsequently declared the National Anti-Corruption Hotline as an essential service. Chairperson, Chair. It's uh, Schreiber, uh, can you hear me? Honorable Schreiber, I can hear you. Yes, I'm just wondering about the use of the word expediency there. I think it may be not the correct term. Um, uh, I think expediency refers to something being done quickly or um, or not at a high standard. So if I can just recommend during this period of difficulty, something like that, just to, just to um, make sure that we have the right meaning there. Okay, is that... That's it. I've got it. Have, Thank you. Have you captured that, uh, Damlu? Yes, I captured it. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Is there any area that was amended? Yes, Chair. Um, I just uh, felt we should change on 7.3. It's it's the previous one said the PSC should. Uh, commission, so we say conduct a study on all existing government corruption hotlines. It just changed the way there. Just one way. Thank you. Thank you. And then we are on point seven seven. All right. 
The PSC should ensure that it addresses all concerns raised in the 2019-20 Auditor General's report so that solutions are found to making the organization efficient. The PSC should not fail in these matters because it undermines good governance which it must uphold and of which it is a custodian. So th this one is, is linked to the observation, so we took part of that to put it as a recommendation as well, so that it flows. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. And then we come to 7.9, where there was a, a timeline to be uh, declared or to be uh, inserted. The Public Service Commission should conduct an evaluation to determine factors leading to and the cost government department sourcing external legal services towards resolution of disciplinary cases in the public service which is contrary to the disciplinary code and procedure. The PSC should report within 90 days on this matter. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Yeah, we come to the conclusion. The right. committee is satisfied with the fact that the PSC continues to deal with key services, even as the pandemic has dis disturbed the cause of service delivery in the public service. The committee understands that service delivery will definitely be affected and will not be at 100%, but the efforts towards minimizing the impact of the pandemic are appreciated. The PSC should conduct a study on all existing government corruption hotlines dealing with corruption cases in order to establish their efficacy and overlaps in rooting out corruption in the public service with a view to streamlining and centralizing all hotlines common purpose under one hotline. The committee will continue to support the PSC towards achieving what it can achieve under the circumstances. Thank you, Chair and Honorable Members. Thank you. Are members happy with that? In terms of Section 22 of the Companies Act, the company Yes, Chaperson. Maluleke. Honorable Maluleke is, is happy. We are happy and I move for the adoption of this report. Okay, Honorable Maluleke. Any second to Honorable Maluleke? Honorable Chair, I second the proposal by Honorable Maluleke. That's Honorable KB seconding. Yes, Honorable Chair. Thank you very much. Can we can we move to the next? Thank you, Chair and Honourable Members. We go to which one is next, uh, Chair? Is it the NSG? Yes, NSG. Okay. Yes. Chair, person, my apology, my apology, Chair. Uh, I'll suggest oh. that we get a mover. Let's get a mover, please. Um, so what we did was yeah, there the, the was. Okay. No, a second, I mean. I seconded. The was. Yeah, it was, it was moved by Honorable Malulege, seconded by Honorable Kib. I'm blaming connectivity, Chair. I missed that one. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, I bear with you. Let's go to that. Uh... Yes. Thank you, Chair yeah. and Honourable Members and colleagues. Uh, we are on uh, Section 10 because there were, yes. there, was, there, were, there were no amendments. Uh, we just felt that we should add the, 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 that highlighted uh, sentence there. The school is encouraged to identify core deliverables and ensure that they are delivered. Where it cannot deliver on such deliverables due to the pandemic, the school should approach the bodies and authorities established by government to identify activities declarable as this. You are breaking up. Uh, uh, Mr. Now 
is too bad. Mr. Biela, we have completely lost you now. Uh, I'm not sure what is happening here. You were breaking I... up. We could not hear what you were saying. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, it also said uh, I've, I've got a bad network here, but uh, I think I'm I'm audible now. Am I? Yes, you are. Okay. I I just you said we. Slide as well. and also in my view, if you can change what you have deemed there. Because it still stands as a, a public service commission. On my yeah, side, it's cool. I, we, are, we are through with that, Honorable Som. We are now on the NSG. I know, Chair, but, but on the screen, Chair, it's still PSC. On the screen, it's public service, Chair. Is it? What oh, on the screen. screen. Okay, yes, can you change that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought because on my side it's it's up there. Yeah. Are we up? Not yet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. I I said we included. We thought we should include the the that highlighted sentence there that the funding model should be prioritized by the school in order to keep it afloat. That was the only yes, amendment chair. there. Okay. Are members happy with that? Yes, Honorable yeah, Chair. I am happy with it. So uh, we can say Honorable Soma is moving adoption and Honorable Kibi is seconding that. Yes, Honorable Chair. Thank you. No dissenting voice, ne? Right. Okay. Let's let's move. Let's move to the next item, which is uh, public service and at me. I'm trying to scroll to the back end of the report here. Okay. And all systems shall be provided without unnecessary or unreasonable delay. And I found that the department are very short on this one. There could be a way of uh, making it uh, quicker, but um, um, on other matters, <laughs> I'm not computer savvy, so. You are not alone, I'm like you. The snail pace here. It's doing that. Can I make an assumption that what I said also you, you, you concluded that you are adopting the, the report as presented and then seconded by Honorable Kim? Yes. That was my understanding, Honorable Sir. Okay, I, I just want to raise it for record purposes, Chair, not to make an assumption. Thanks, Chair. Okay. You are struggling, Mr. Bia. Yes, Chair. I think age is catching up, but I'm getting there. 
Is it is it is it up on the screen or is it only on my, side? on my side? Okay. Um, I'm just scrolling to the end. If I may, can make a suggestion, it was sent to us, isn't it? Yeah, it was. What suggestion Probably are you making, can, Mr. Uh, uh, Honorable I'll tell you to say that to t while he's still struggling, if he can just read it through, I'm sure the next one will be able to beam it. Uh, then we can listen and check on our notes. No, no, that that's 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 a perfect suggestion. Can you do that, Mr. Beer? I think it's up now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, paragraph 10, 13. Yeah. Are we together now? Yes, I'm looking at this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes, we are together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Members. 1013, regarding the finalization of disciplinary cases within a timeline of 90 days and some suspension taking longer than 60 days without holding disciplinary hearings, the committee requested that the, the accounting officer present a progress report on this matter immediately upon lower grades of lockdown. Right. Are we oh. happy with that, uh, honorable members? Yes, Chair, we are happy. Yes, Chair, we are happy. Okay, cool. Okay. Ten Can four. We move to 1014. Yes, Chair. The committee noted government feedback on the wage dispute. However, the committee noted the department's uh, commitment to the implementation of the multi year salary agreement. The department further mentioned that there were a few outstanding matters to be resolved with organized labor within the bargaining council. The committee further notes that the 2020-21 budget outlines the need to reduce the public service wage bill by 160.2 billion over the MTEF period, including a reduction of 37.8 billion in the current financial year. Are members happy with that? Does that capture the amendment as suggested? Yes, Chair, I'm happy with that. Honorable uh, Schreiber agrees with that. Any second to Honorable Schreiber? I second that. Uh, Honourable Clark seconded. And who else? There was another voice that seconded as well. Okay. Right. Uh, thank you, Honourable Members. Yes, Honourable CBC also seconded. Oh, Honourable CBC as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Sir. Yeah, uh, honorable members, on 10 15, we just added the timeline there within 90, a period of 90 days. Within 90 days, yes, but I can read the entire sentence. It says the committee further noted the minister's approval of the organizational structure for the public administration, ethics, integrity, and disciplinary technical assistance unit. The committee welcomed such development and asked the minister to ensure that the technical assistance unit is fully operational, operational within a period of 90 days. Thank you. And then we go to, yeah, we go to recommendations 11.1. First, tracking the amendments to all due legislation earlier than 2023 to ensure that all administrative management and governance systems are streamlined. This will give, sorry, uh, let me remove that. This will give.
This will give Parliament ample time to finalise its legislation within its term. Okay. And then 11. Are members happy with that? Is that okay. well captured? Yes, Chairperson. Yes. Does Honourable Maluleke and uh, who else? Sabe Kolo. Sabe Kolo. Yes, Chair. Thank you. Yes, let's go to 11.2. Amending the Public Service Act of 94 should include the establishment of the roles and responsibilities of the head of administration as one of the interventions encapsulated in the National Development Plan to manage career incidences of heads of department and other seniority positions. The department should also finalize regulations of the Public Administration Man Management Act of 2014 in order to give effect to comprehensive implementation of the Act, the Department should conduct consultations regarding the second phase of the Public Administration Management Regulations. The Department should therefore report on these uh, activities at the latest by August 2021. And this, uh, on this one, we match the 11.2 and 11.3, which were separating the the PEM Act and the Public Service Act. So we put them together as per the suggestion of the members and rephrased uh, to make a flow. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. Is that well captured, honorable members? Chair, if I may, I'm just thinking, uh, it's well captured, that's one. But two, I just want to check with, honor, with honorable members through yourself, probably the, the researcher may assist. Is it correct for us, because those law, those acts are separate, as it was explained in our last meeting, that the other one deals with the management thereof, the administration and the other one, the whole public service in terms of... Uh, or of re uh, looking at the regulations that we, should, we must cluster them or we must separate them because they are distinct acts that support each other but separately as well. I just want to check that one. I know that I raised it, but now I'm just thinking aloud to say, is it proper to put to, 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 to add put together or what? Together or what? <laughs> What uh, honorable Soma is raising? Members, are you there? Honorable Chair, yes, we are here. Okay. There's that point that honorable Soma is raising. Honorable Can you respond Chair. to that point? Honorable Chair, sorry, I got lost. My, my network is also failing me on the site, so I could not get Honorable Isoma clearly. Okay, Honorable Isoma, can you repeat yourself? Uh, I'm just saying that probably the researcher or the content advisor can advise. I know I raised that item, but after the explanation in terms of the different object of, the, of both acts, of those I'm both asking acts. then, is it proper for us to make it as one recommendation or generally in terms of all the acts that have been re repealed, they should ensure that there's a broader consultation and also there are regulations in place for its operationalization. Uh, Chair, can the researcher respond to that? Chairperson? Okay. Yes, uh, Honorable uh, Mr. Mwepe. Okay, I, I think, uh, well, uh, what the Honorable, Honorable Soma is, is raising is correct. I think the best way is to separate because we are talking about two different legislation here. Okay. The, the best way is to, uh, to separate them and then be specific on the PS, Public Service Act. Uh, what is it that the committee requests the department to do and be also be specific on the PEM Act 
so that uh, we don't match the two. I was worried last week when the proposal was made that we should match the two. But because of the, the report of the committee, uh, we just left it as, as it is. Uh, but then, I, luckily enough, Honorable Soma, she came back again to correct that. But I think uh, the best way is just to separate the two. So Because if you look at it, the recommendation is too long uh, if, if it kept together. So the best way is just to separate and then have the recommendation on the PEM Act and have the recommendation on the Public Service Act. Okay. I don't think members we will reject that. This is the advice from the from the researcher. Let's separate them as honorable the former is 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 arguing. Agreed, Chef. Yes, agreed. Chef. Agreed. Okay. Yes. What is the next one? Okay, uh, thank you. Um, let's see. Yeah, 11.6. Yes. Yes, it says adhering to the 2020-21 budget, which outlines the need to reduce the public service wage bill by 160.2 billion over the MTF period including a reduction of 37.8 billion in the current financial year. Chairperson, may I ask? Yes, I mean. Are we not repeating the I'm same thing that we have adopted there? On what is, where we are talking about this amount of the reduction of the wage bill, are we not repeating it? Let me check, Honorable uh, Maluleke, whether it was on the observations, but now it comes as a recommendation. Um, yes, I think it was uh, uh, it was an observation on 10.14, but now it comes as a as a smaller recommendation on 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 on, on the part on the section of recommendations. So it's not the entire paragraph, but it's just the, 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 the last part of it. Okay, no, it's fine. All right. Okay, if I, I may say something. Uh, okay, no, probably, I'm sorry. Uh, without an intention of drastically uh, modifying the recommendation, but to say that when we're making observations, we make it generally in terms of the public service. But mm. when you do recommendations as the portfolio committee, I believe that also your, your recommendations must be able to be measurable and also mm. to be implement, implementable. Because now, when we put it in the recommendation, still other departments must look at that. And in most instances, DPSA might not have would not necessarily and naturally have a say, a larger say, until they've worked out on something and then brought before them when they would have probably just thinking aloud might opted to review their structure or whatever direction they may take. Uh, that, that's one. But also when we made an observation where we're borrowing from exact words of the Minister of Finance in his yes. budget speech in, in relation to the wage bill. Yes. So I, I'm saying yeah. then as a committee then might not be, I, I'm repeating myself on this one so that I say it in a proper, it might not be necessarily able to measure that recommendation since the uh, DPSA equally also is involved in negotiate, wage negotiations on behalf of parliament or of government. It might be seen when we mandate and expect them to run this one that they might be negotiating in bad faith with the employer, which is still underway, by the way, taking into account the consideration of the fiscals, which I totally agree on that one. And then I'm tempted, Chair, to propose that we, we, we paraphrase that one uh, uh, to say the department, which is DPSA, working with the National Treasury, should play a leading role during salary negotiations by sensitizing organized labor, which is unions, about the impact of the wage bill and jointly 
devise a workable strategies to mitigate the situation without experiencing any job losses in the public service. The department together with National Treasury should present a report on the strategy and progress made to reduce the wage bill in Parliament in February. So when you are doing with the B triple R's, you are saying that they must come back with a strategy and report back then to Parliament because Treasurer doesn't necessarily report to us, but it's a, it's a project leader, so to speak, if I may borrow that word. So that, that, that's what I'm putting forward. Let me repeat it probably. I think, I think that, that, is, that is well put, uh, Honorable Soma. You can repeat it, but I, I tend to buy what you are saying. Chairperson, well, can we have an opportunity to discuss before we... Before no, no, we... you will discuss. I'm not closing. Okay. I'm not sure. closing it off. Um, I'm not I'll closing discuss. it off. Can I, just, can, I, can I make some input here, Chair? Yeah, you are, you, are, you are welcome to make an input. Okay. Thanks, Chair. I, I have a couple of concerns with that suggestion. Um, the first one being, Chair, that I think it goes into quite a significant amount of detail um, uh, in a sense of um, saying how, these, how this uh, wage bill reduction actually needs to be affected. So I'm not sure that that the the level of detail saying you know giving the the committee's view on how this must be done is is necessarily the right way to go. I think we're going into the department's work when we say that. Um, in in our other recommendations, um, uh, chair, we we do make a sort of very broad. Uh, we issue we you know we give guidance on where we think the department should be going. And something that, that, is, uh, that is encapsulated in the national budget um, is, and, and is, is obviously something that also serves as a, as, a, as, a, as a guideline for what the department should be doing. So I, I think unless the, the, the committee is saying that we disagree with what is in the budget, then I believe that it's totally appropriate to, to flag that this is what the budget said and that we encourage the department to, to make it happen. Of course, we are not saying how the department must do its work, and that's my concern with going into detail. Uh, I don't believe it's our place to, 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 in this committee, necessarily tell them exactly what they should be doing, but I do think it's absolutely our place to say that this is a target that was set, and of course, uh, if we look at the observations chair a little bit earlier in the document, we do note that the department um, has informed us of some of the challenges that they are experiencing, etc. Um, so I see no no problem with us just affirming that this was in the budget, this is the target, and how they do it uh, is up to them. But I don't think we should be um, running away from the fact that this was in the budget. This is the target. Uh, they must find a way to achieve that, Chair. That would be my view. I have no problem with, with the recommendation on... Um, on asking them to report to us, so so that part I can I can support, but I don't think we should go into detail, and I think we must be upfront about what the target is here. That the, the budget gave a target, and that's what the department should be sticking to. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. Chairperson. Can I get views of other members? Yes, Chairperson. Okay. Chairperson. That's Malulege. Is Honourable Malulege? I can recognize your voice. Okay, Chair. I think I would agree with Honorable Lusuma that yes, we are recommending, it's what we are recommending to the department. Yes, we acknowledge that the budget uh, is, being to, is to be cut, as we have highlighted on the observation. But here, because we are recommending, we are recommending to the department to work in partnership with National Treasure and also. Uh, highlighting this, that when they negotiate with the organized labor, they must take into account that, yes, there's a budget cut, but then they must make sure that no job losses are done. So I, I would agree that we, we take the recommendation of, uh, the proposed recommendation of 
Honorable Lusoma, because what is here is just adhering to the 2021 budget. It's not a recommendation. It's as if we are still observing what the, the department has said. Okay. Chairperson, Honorable Okay, okay. Okay, can I hear, Adam? Chairperson, Honorable Okay, Honorable Spicy. Uh, in fact, I wish to second uh, the secondment of Honorable Maluleg to what uh, Honorable De Soma has been saying. Uh, I'm seconding their suggestions. Okay. Chairperson, if I may respond to the to the proposal. Um, yes. My, you see, Chair, my concern is exactly this, that if we are adding a condition now, so the committee is now adding a, an extra condition to the department. They are, we are saying that uh, the, I assume we'll still be talking about the fact that the budget calls for the cut of the wage bill. But now we are also saying that it must be on condition of no job losses. I, I view it as the mandate of the negotiations and of the department to find the appropriate ways in which they must actually fulfill this, um, this target chair. So, so I, I will reiterate, reiterate my concern that if the committee is now getting into the business of, of doing the, 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 the negotiation or, or the work for the department, that I think we are moving on to shaky ground chair. I, <clears throat> I obviously hear that there is support for the other proposal, but um, I don't think it's one that I uh, will be able to support. And I think in that case, we will have to note that uh, that that um, I and perhaps some of my colleagues uh, disagree with it. Um, but Chair, that's my concern here. I think we're moving on to shaky ground if we're telling the department under which conditions they must uh, actually implement the the budget. Okay, yeah. Honourable Shaper, I will. We, we well, will note what that. you are saying. But, Honourable. But, okay, Honourable Kim. Yes, Honourable Chair, I think. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's a condition. I support what uh, Honorable Maluleke said and the other uh, honorable members because I don't see it as a, as a condition but as a recommendation from the committee because uh, losing jobs is also a concern to us as the committee. So we are recommending in whatever that uh, the department is doing, this is what they need to make sure of that there are no job losses. I don't see it uh, as a condition. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I, I, I think, honorable members, let's do like this. We we, we um, can note what honorable Schreiber is is, is 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 raising. But the majority view is what was put by Honorable Som, seconded by uh, Maluleke and Honorable Kibi. Uh, Chairperson, I'll, I'll agree with you because it's going to be unfair for us then to include something that is not in the business plan. We raise it and they take him from the queue from the pre, from the political overview which was made by the minister before we got pre, a presentation of the annual plan and the strategic plan. So what we're, looking, what, what we're dealing with is what was presented to us formally and also then the other issues with in, and included them or covered them in our observation but secondly chair when then we are going to single out the psa in terms of this one which is not the actual project leader in terms of the finances and leave uh, outside the treasury then we're making a mistake on that one because even we are further saying that also we appreciate that the minister did take us in confidence that they are still in, in discussions with, with the organized labor. If you look, leave that one outside your recommendations, then we are saying that one doesn't happen. Uh, for me, then it does make a sense of that we are not even a consultative democracy or government. We just want to take our decisions by our, our, our own, by ourselves, regardless whom does it affect and the service delivery that gets affected. Thank you very much, Chair. Chairperson, Honourable Nduli. Chair, I think Comrade Lisoma had just put it clear. If we can just follow suit, I don't think there are hustles around what she has said earlier on. Thank you, Chair. 
Chairperson, can I request then that we that we change the text um, as as the majority of the members here are are proposing, and then uh, once we have the text in front of us, I can just add perhaps that uh, the DA does not support uh, certain parts of it. So can we perhaps have the text up on the screen so that we know what the proposal is? Are you not taking us back, Honourable Shaib? I'm not, Chair, because I need to see what the final recommendation is going to look like in order to formulate uh, the dissent that I would like to also include. So I, I believe that uh, Honorable Lasoma has already um, written it down, and if we can just get it up so that we can um, finalize this and move on, Chair. Okay. Uh, uh, can can, can, I'll, I'll, I'll can the admin... Quickly, yes, can, can, can you repeat yourself, Honorable Lasoma, so that it is, it, is, it, is, it is written down properly? Honorable Chairperson, sorry, Chair, before okay, Honorable Mr. Mwepe. All right, uh, I would like to suggest because oh, Mr. Biela has projected the, the report. Uh, yeah. As uh, Honorable Soma, she's reading out uh, uh, the proposed re new recommendation. Yeah. Uh, maybe Mr. Biela can just type on the, on the report that has been projected so that we can all be able to see. Okay, okay, that, that's a perfect suggestion can that be done can do you can do i have what, uh, honorable soma to to repeat what she said yes as in allowing me also to capture then just flowing through okay okay quick, okay. Uh, you know okay honorable soma take the floor uh, uh Okay, the, the, uh, I, I'm saying that it should read as follows. The department working with the National Treasury to play a leading role. During okay, salary Honorable Soma, you are breaking up. Uh, okay, Chair. Yeah, you are clear uh, now. I, 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 okay, so Chair, I, I, I'm saying that DPSA or the department working with national treasury should play a leading role during salary negotiations negotiation by sensitizing organized labor unions about the impact of the wage bill and jointly devise a workable strategy can, to mitigate can I, the don't don't rush don't rush uh, honorable lesson uh, i'm the, trying they are capturing what to... you what can, you are saying can she also okay. Can, can, can Honorable Soma also follow after me on the screen so that she knows where I am? Uh, but yeah, okay. Okay. Yes. I'm at uh, National Treasurer. Should play a leading role. Should. But I can't see what you're typing. Oh, is it not up on the screen? It is. It, 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 okay. it is. Okay. It is. Okay. Up, we can see it, but it doesn't show. Okay. Are you typing or what? Yeah, it he is. is up. We can see. So play a leading role. Yeah. Uh, during salary negotiations. Salary negotiation. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now yes. I can see. So you are typing. By sensitizing organized labor. Labor yes. unions about the impact of the wage bill. But I've texted you through as well. Okay, the wage bill. And jointly devise a workable strategies. And jointly devise workable yes. to mitigate the situation.
without experiencing any job losses. Yes. In the public service. Yes, man. The, the 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 department together with national treasury. Should present a report. Sorry, man. Should present a report. A report. Yes. On the strategy and progress. Made to reduce the wage bill in Parliament in February. That's a timeline we're giving them. I'm suggesting. To reduce the wage bill in Parliament by fe February. That will be February 2021 because this is 2020. Yes. Uh, Chairperson, is that it? It's, yes. Uh, Thank you, Chair. I, may I ask a question of clarification uh, for the Honorable Asoma? Um, why so late? Why only February 2021? Is there a specific reason? It will be you if you recall in terms of our timelines, we will be would have dealt with it B triple R's in terms of budget reviews and recommendations, which will be detailed on, on the budget review in February. And also it must okay. be right. so it will be the next vote. for the next so, budget review. Yes, because yeah. you, mind you, by that time you will also be preparing to present budget for 2021-22. So it must find its expression in that budget as well. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, Chair, so just to be absolutely clear, this is now the final recommendation. All of the text that is in red is what we are proposing. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, Chair. I mean, if we are if we are leaving in the the first part, which says that we that we recommend that the department adheres to the twenty but twenty one budget. So we are leaving in that part, um, then I think uh, we can proceed, Chair. So there won't be a need for anything additional in my view, if we can leave that first part along with the recommendation from Honorable Mr. What are you proposing? Uh, you propose that it, that first part should be deleted? No, no, I'm proposing, as I'm seeing it in front of me, Chair, that that, that is fine. I believe this recommendation is actually fine. My confusion was that I thought we were going to delete the first part, with which I would oh, not have. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm seeing the full recommendation now. I actually don't think there's any need for further changes. My apologies if I misunderstood. I thought the Honorable Lasoma's text would be the entire text. Thanks, Chair. Oh, okay, 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 Honorable Schreiber. No, fine. Cool. Mr. Mwepe, is there is there another one? Let me check, uh, Honorable Chair. We're no. on 11.6. Yes, we done now, Chair. We done. Yes. Can 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 I can I then? Can, can, can that be the, that report be adopted now by members? Honorable Chair. Honorable Kibi. Uh, Honorable Chair, I move for the adoption of this uh, report as presented and uh, all the corrections and additions have been made. I thank you, Chair. Thank you. Any second to Honorable Kibi? Speaking. Honorable Speci, second. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, members. Can we?
move to the next item if is there's any uh, there is none now chair i will only split as uh, 11.2 and 11.3 and then the numbers will change a bit okay thank you thank you do you want to say that concludes the business of the day through your mouth, sir. Yes. <laughs> why, why, man? Yes. <laughs> I'm still <Chair>. energized. <laughs> I'm uh, Honorable Sam. Yes, Honorable Sam. If I may, if I'm not too sure whether we are, we are still going to make announcements. Yes, yes, Mr. Sam. Yes, there, it's that's going to be made. Let, let me wait and hear whether I'll be covered on the announcements. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, uh, Mastole, we are now on announcement. Chairperson, are there any announcements? Chairperson, Oh, yeah, I can hear you, Honorable Mutipe. Yeah, I'm struggling, really. The network comes and go, and then I couldn't even uh, comment on, on some other issues, but I would like to... Uh, please note the objection of all the reports except the statistics for Statistics South Africa. Please, Chairperson. Okay. You, are, you, you object to all other reports except Stats SA? Yes. Okay. Can that be noted? Yes, Chair, it will be noted in the minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Maspole. Are there any announcements? Yes, uh, just to, 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 to guide the members. Thank you very much, Chen. Uh, now, what we will do is that uh, uh, these, these five reports will be sent through the ATC uh, for the adoption to the House. However, that I think will be done uh, by next week uh, when NCOP has finalized its own processes. Uh, uh, number two, Chair, um, next week uh, we do not uh, have any meetings. Our, our program, the, the parliamentary program, has indicated that uh, 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 the House uh, will rise uh, on the 19th of June. So, which leaves the call committees with three weeks, which is next week and the week of the 10th and the week of the 17th of, of, of June. So, uh, basically, Chair, we won't have any meeting next week. However, uh, your office, Chair, uh, 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 will look at, at, at the second term program that we already at have. The second term, yeah, okay. Yes, All right. yes, where we will identify uh, agenda items. Uh, I know what we still have a lot of agenda items that will go through. Where we will where we'll slot them for the meeting of the 10th, Chair. And secondly, we'll have agenda items for the meeting of the 17th, our last meeting for the term. Uh, and then okay. after the outstanding agenda items on, on, on that program, Chair, will then also then be forwarded to the third term, uh, of which that we're still waiting for Parliament to also guide the committees, Chair, on how to move. So, so basically, Chair, there's no meeting next week. Uh, your, your your office is going to sit and 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 look at uh, our and agenda look at that what we have the agenda items yes yes chair and then secondly we will then uh, slot a meeting for the tenth and the seventeenth chair of course still guided by the office of the house chair through your office as well so okay. that, that, that's it on my side chair thank you very much uh, we've concluded basically the the annual uh, performance plans and strategy plans chair. Uh, yeah, so that's it on my side. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you, Mastole. Let me let me thank once again all honourable members for for the cooperation we have we have had throughout uh, our work. I am very pleased with that, and I'm very pleased that even where we differ, we we differ with respect and dignity. Uh, thank you very much, Honourable Members. Uh, the meeting stands adjourned. Thank you, Honourable Chair. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Chair. See you when we are able to see each other. Bye-bye.
Bye. 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 Bye.